everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be decluttering my highlighters, both in powder form and cream and liquid. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, I'm going to start with all of my creams and liquids. And the first one I have here is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Highlighter Prime and Highlighter, or Prime and Highlight, in the shade W101 Golden. So this one, when I got it, I was like, oh, a good highlighter, but it's a lot more... As you can see, it's just basically straight up gold. So I can't wear it as a highlighter. What I was doing with it was kind of putting it all over my face um, in the summertime to add like a bronzy sheen, but I think I'm just gonna get rid of it. Um, it is a really good formula. It does dry down all the way so it doesn't slip and slide around on your skin. So it is good, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give it up since it's not the right color for me. By the way, I do know that they have other colors in this line. Um, I think they have three. So if there's a color that interests you, then I do recommend picking this up. All right, next we have this uh, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Multi Stick. And I have mine in the shade Marigold Brown. So this came out last summer. It's limited edition. You get so much product in here. I mean, I've used this plenty of times and I still have so much left. Um, it's really, really pretty. You can see it's kind of an icy champagne color. Has a little bit of a pink undertone in it, but I just don't get much use out of it. Um, it's pretty, once you blend it out on the skin, it does end up being pretty sheer. So I think this is more for someone that likes a more natural highlight. Um, kind of a barely there kind of look. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this one on. It is pretty though. Alright, these are... My e.l.f., oh, what are they called? The Beautifully Bare. I know it's from their Beautifully Bare line. They're like the Illuminating Drops. It's in this white packaging like this. Um, I have mine in the shade Illuminating. This is really pretty. And it dries down completely too, just like that L'Oreal one. I just have a little problem with it being a little bit like, like the oil is separated inside the tube. And there's not really a good way to like mix it up other than just, you know, Moving it around. It has a nice champagne gold sheen to it. And it's really, really blinding when you have it on. And it does dry down, like I said, all the way. So I'm going to keep this one. I really like it. And it's super affordable. Alright, next we have the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. It says, lightweight liquid illuminator that gives skin a refreshed glow and a beautiful highlight. Now this I got in an Ipsy bag. I don't use it because when I unscrew it, the product, it just like starts coming out. And you don't need very much. So like, see how like, I'm not even squeezing it and there's already stuff like starting to come out of the top. So I don't know if there's just like built up pressure in there or what. But this is a very pinky toned. So you can probably see that a little goes a super long way and it dries down completely as well. So it doesn't move around on the skin. It's just very um, icy pink. So if you have a really fair skin tone, this is going to look really good on you and it is a beautiful cream highlight. You can even mix it in with foundation. Um, same with these e.l.f. drops. You can mix these with your foundation as well to make it more uh, luminizing. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one as well. Actually, no. I'm going to get rid of this one because I don't use it and I have the e.l.f. one and it kind of, the e.l.f. one goes with my skin tone a little bit better than this one does. So I'm going to pass this one on. All right, next up we have, we have this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight. So this is like their liquid version of their Shimmering Skin Perfectors. And I have mine in the shade Moonstone. And this is just a sample size. It actually came with a sample size of the Moonstone Shimmering Skin Perfector uh, pressed. The powder version, so I'll talk about that next. But this one, I'm really not a big fan of. It is pretty sheer coming out. It's a really pretty um, kind of white gold color. And it is pretty. It's just that glitter. Don't mind that. That's from that NYX one. It's just a little bit. If you just want a natural highlight, then this is good. But... Um, for me, on my skin tone, it doesn't show up that well, so I'm going to go ahead and pass that one on as well. The pressed version, though, in the powder, although the formula, I mean, people rave about this all the time on YouTube. I don't know if they make the sample sizes, um, like, less quality, 
while it is super pigmented and beautiful, it is a little bit, it's not as soft as I would imagine. And these run about $40 for the full size. So I wouldn't say it's worth, um, worth the money to buy the full size version, but I do like the highlight. It's like I said, it's the same color as the liquid one. It's really pretty white gold. So I'm going to keep it and I do use it. It's just, I don't think I would pay full price for it. So I'm going to keep that one. Back to the creams here. I have one that I don't think I've ever even used. This is the e.l.f. All Over Color Stick. And I have mine in the shade Spotlight. It's a little bit too, like, concealer-esque. It's almost like there's more pigment in it than, like, sheen or shimmer. So it just kind of looks like, it kind of blends like a concealer too. As you can see, it kind of blends streaky. So it's only a dollar, so I'm just going to give that one away or throw it out probably. Now this one by e.l.f. is really good. This is the e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip. So you get so much in here because a little bit goes a long way. I have mine in the shade Lilac Petal. And this is a pinky tone too. It's a little bit more peachy. So it's kind of pretty as like a, it's a, like a blush topper highlight duo is what I normally use it for. And it's just really pretty. It's very similar to that NYX one that I am giving up, but this one's just a little bit more pinky. It's not so icy. So I love this. And like I said, this was, I think, either $1 or $2. And all I did, all I use is this very smallest amount. So I don't think I'll ever end up going through all of this, which is awesome. So I'm going to keep it. All right, the last cream highlighter that I have is a sample version of Benefit's What's Up highlighter. And there, it's a very generous sample. You get a lot. And I've used it quite a bit, and I don't think I'll end up using all of this. What I like to do with a product like this, or any other kind of stick highlight, I just take a small stipple brush. Elf makes a really good one, by the way. And I just wipe it on there, and then I dab it on my cheeks, um, instead of going straight in. But as you can see, it's a really pretty champagne gold color. Stays on all day, and it's quite intense, but you can do it. You can build it up, so if you don't want it to be as intense, it doesn't have to be, but you can layer it to make it more intense. So I love this. I'm gonna, I think that if I run out of this, I might pay full price for it. Um, if I wore cream highlighters more often, I definitely would, so, but I typically reach for a powder highlight. That's the only reason that I might not purchase this. But if you love cream highlights, I definitely recommend All this. Alright, moving on to our powder highlights. So the first one I have here is by Essence. And if you haven't heard of Essence, it's a brand that you can get at Target, and I know that they sell it at Ulta as well. It's very cheap. It's similar in price to like e.l.f. Um, and Wet n Wild. And this is the Pure Nude Highlighter. I'm pretty sure it only comes in one color, and the color is 10 Be My Highlight. And I'm going to swatch this for you, although I don't think it'll show up very well. You can kind of see in the pan. It's it's one of those highlights that it doesn't look like it'd be much in the pan. And even when I swatch on my finger, it just looks like a beigey yellow tone almost. But when you put it on, yeah, see the camera's not really picking it up, but you just have to take my word for it. When you put this on, it is like the most beautiful lip from within glow. If I would have known about this highlight on my wedding day, I would have worn it because it's so beautiful. And it, there's no um, shimmer, there's no glitter in it. It's just a true glow. And it's only like $4, so if you can find this, go get this right now. I love it so much. Alright, this one is by Sleek Makeup. And it is the highlighting palette in the shade Precious Metal. Um, when I picked this up, I wasn't able to swatch it, but these three are creams. And they're all... They have, all of them have a little bit of glitter in them, but I have noticed that when I put them on, um, I'm kind of able to, once they dry down, because they do dry down, I can just kind of dust away the glitter, because the glitter, you know, isn't stuck to the skin. So I'll just take a big fluffy brush that's clean and I'll just dust away the glitter. But the colors are really pretty. And then there's one color in here that's a powder, and it's this more bronzy color. So this on me wouldn't work as a highlight, but it is a really beautiful eyeshadow. But the rest of these three I do wear as a highlight. So for these, I either use that stipple brush that I was talking about, or I use just my beauty blender. I'll just dip it in there and then dab it on my cheeks. So yeah, I really like that as well. And even though I did get this in Ireland, I know that you can order Sleek online. 
Um, Sleek is a European brand, but yeah, you can get it online. So I'm going to keep this one for sure. All right, here's a really good one. This is the Bombs Mary Luminizer. And yeah, so they, this doesn't have a shade name. There are three of them. There's like Mary Luminizer, Cindy Luminizer, and I want to say Betty Luminizer. So this is the one in the shade Mary Luminizer. It's like a classic champagne gold. It's like one of the OG highlighters. Like when highlighting first became a thing, this is the highlighter everyone went for. So yeah, it's nice and it has a nice beautiful sheen to it. It looks beautiful on the cheekbones. You can build it up and you can also wear it as a subtle look. So I definitely recommend this one and it's a really good quality as well. All right, this by Physicians Formula is their, let's see, what is the name of it? It is their Shimmer Strips All-in-One Custom Nude Palette for Face and Eyes. And this is in their uh, Warm Nude. And this has a bunch of different colors. You can use them as eyeshadows. You can use this more pinky tones as kind of like a blush topper. But I like to mix like, oh, just kind of all these colors. And you get a beautiful highlighting shade. Um, and yeah, you can customize it to whatever color you want. If you want to just stay in the very light color, you can. If you want to go deeper, you can. So this works for lots of different skin tones as well. And it's one of my favorite highlighters from the drugstore because it's so buttery and soft. And it's so versatile as well. So I think it's definitely worth the money um, since Physician's Formula is a little bit more up there in price. Um, I definitely think it's worth it. Go check this one out. It's really good. So I'm going to keep it. All right. This is one of the first highlighters that I ever tried. This is by Wet n Wild. Um, it's from the Fergie collection, but I know that they still sell it in a different name. So mine is in the shade Rosé Champagne Gold. But now, I mean, if you just look up, if you go to Wet n Wild's website, they have highlighters like this. And I'm pretty sure it's called, like, something Boulevard now. I don't know. I think it has Boulevard in the name. Um, Boozy Brunch is another one that's a classic. So this one's kind of a more pinky toned. And it's really beautiful. This is the one that I wore on my wedding day. It's kind of a lighter champagne gold, and it does have a few specks of uh, glitter in it, but it's not super detectable on the skin. So this is another one of those that it is really intense if you apply a lot, but you can also build it up and make it more subtle as well. So this is really good, super affordable, and you get so much product in here. This is like the size of my whole hand, so you get a lot. All right, just a few more here. So this one is from Stila. It is their Heaven's Hue Highlighter in the shade Kitten. And Kitten is one of Stila's most famous colors. They have it in like lots of different formulas and eyeshadows, cream highlights, um, you name it. So this recently just came out and it's the weirdest formula. So I'm going to try to show you on here. It's like I can like press into it. So it's kind of like a cream, but it's also like a powder. And it's just really stunning. Um, I found that it works best with a stipple brush. A more loose brush doesn't really pick it up as well because it just kind of dusts over the top so you don't get as good pigmentation. So I found using a stipple brush um, works the best. I found my Beauty Blender, it doesn't really work that well either. So oh, I kind of ruined my little, my nice little circle here. But yeah, like I said, it's really stunning. It was, I think, around between $35 and $40. But I definitely think it's worth it, and you get a lot of product product in here too. So I definitely recommend this one if you're looking for a more high-end highlighter. It's really beautiful, and they have a few different shades as well. And even if you can't buy this highlighter, if you don't want to pay the money for it, just go to Sephora and feel it because I swear it is the most weird-feeling highlighter you will ever touch in your life, or any kind of product for that matter. It's like a gel. It almost feels like just like a pillow is the best way I can describe it. So just go feel it, even if you're not planning on buying it. It feels really cool. All right, this is another one by Physicians Formula. I was raving about that shimmer strips, that block one. This is another form of their shimmer strips. This one is um, in the shade Vegas Strip. It's their custom bronzer, blush, and eyeshadow. And this one's really versatile as well. You can use it um, as a bronzer, you can use it as just a highlighter, and you can use all of these separately. Um, I got this because I had heard that it was a dupe for Becca's Champagne Pop, and I didn't want to fork out the $38 for that, so I was like, okay, well, I'll give this a try. The formula is just not as soft. As you can see, it's like, well, I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's just like more grainy, a little more chunky, 
and the pigmentation is just not there for me on this one and I haven't found a brush that really picks up the product well so I'm just gonna go ahead and give this one up if you like a really subtle highlight with just a few little things of glitter in it because this one does have a few specks of glitter then I might recommend it but like I said Physicians Formula is a little bit more pricey at the drugstore and I have other ones that are cheaper like that Essence one that is so much better so maybe just save your money on this one or if you want one from Physicians Formula go uh, for this Warm Nudes one and not this one. Another uh, drugstore option that is super affordable is this one by Wet n Wild. This is their Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. Now this used to be limited edition but everyone loved it so much that they came out with it permanently. I saw it at Walmart and this is the most, one of the most buttery formulas I've ever felt. This is a nice peachy kind of rose gold color. So when I'm at my fairest, I don't wear this one like in the dead of winter because I'm a little bit too pale to wear it. But like right now and going into summer, this is going to be a highlight I bring out all the time. Um, it's so stunning. has a beautiful peach undertone to it. stays on all day and I think it's like around 4 or $5. So definitely worth it and go check that one out too. Alright, and the last one I'm going to be getting rid of. This is the e.l.f. Oh, I think it's their Baked Highlighter. And this one is in the shade Blush Gems. Now, when I got this one, it had no pigmentation to it whatsoever. And I was like, hmm, that's weird because everyone's raving about it. Well, then I saw on YouTube that you're supposed to scrape the top few layers off of that. So I did that. And it did make the product a little bit more pigmented. But not much. It's just, to me, even though it was only a couple dollars, it's just not worth it to have to go through that process of scraping off like I want my product to be like ready to use I don't want to have to do work I mean if I'm gonna pay any money for anything I want it to work right away you know so I think I'm just gonna pass this one on like a few of the others that I'm passing on if you want a really subtle highlight you might go for this and they have a few more different colors for different skin tones if I were to buy this again I would probably buy the lighter version I think it's called Moonlight Pearl, so I'd probably get that version, but yeah, I'm just going to pass this one on. Alright, so there we go. I'm going to be getting rid of seven of my highlighters, and I'm keeping ten of them. So that's not too bad. I know I would have a difficult time trying to get rid of my highlighters. Um, so I think that's pretty good. In my next video, I'm going to be going through all of my bronzers and my contour and highlight kind of sticks and powders. So stay tuned for that one, and if you want to watch any of my other declutters that I've done, I will link all those below. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!